Vortex. I'm assuming that if you watch this channel, you're probably really weird. You see that over there? That's the fair. This is why we've been so busy at the restaurant where I work because it's the next exit over and these morbidly obese people need to keep on going so they have to have their fast food just the fact that it's called fast food should be a red flag, you know? And I know that you're probably wondering why would you work in that industry if this is how you feel? Well, because it's fast paced, obviously. And so it works really well with my brain. For those of you that don't know, I have schizophrenia, and so it's really good for us to hold down a job, okay? A lot of schizophrenics take medication, and it makes them totally incapacitated so they can't work. But because I'm a badass that refuses to trust some cockamamie head doctor, I would rather figure my shit out and Many different places where I've worked have complimented my work ethic in spite of the fact that I have a potty mouth and I am chronically late. <laughs> that is my Achilles heel.
it's like if I haven't eaten anything all day, then whenever I get home and I'm doing other stuff, that's usually like what causes me to do that. Like, oh, I have other shit that I have to do, but I still have to eat because I need some kind of energy. And so I, I'm just like munching. Like when I watch videos, like that's when I typically eat. But I don't, I, w I wouldn't eat if I didn't have to eat, you know? You know that saying, um, like, eat to live, not live to eat? Well, like, I don't even eat to live, practically. <laughs> like, I, I, I do the bare minimum in regards to that. I would much rather be skinny. And it has nothing to do with, like, physique. It's more of, like, I just, I don't know. I'm just not interested in food like that. I don't have that kind of relationship with food. It's always been something that I reluctantly do, you know? And so other things that I don't want to do, like if I don't want to go on the internet, I'll, I'll use food to motivate me to go on the internet. If I don't want to do comedy, I'll use food. Like, <laughs> that's why I eat on stage. Um, it's one of the reasons I eat on stage. Um, if I don't want to hang out with people, I'll be like, it's okay, we're going to a restaurant. <laughs> you know, because I really don't like socializing with people. But if I have a plate of cheese fries, it's fine, you know? <laughs> but, uh, preferably not cheese fries, preferably something a little bit healthier than cheese fries. But, um, catfish, catfish basket. Um, <laughs> shrimp po' boy. But, anyway. Yeah, the food's just not my thing. But, yeah, sometimes I think that the whole reason I work in the restaurant industry is to spy on Americans. <laughs> and I also worked at a grocery store. I've worked at several grocery stores. And so, I have this interest in America's eating habits. And when I worked at this grocery store overnight, in case you missed those videos when I was working at Communist Kroger, I, I worked there all throughout COVID and uh, I would get in trouble because I was reading all the boxes. So I was supposed to put up boxes of food on the shelves, but I would get distracted because I would read all the labels and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, I think I have a natural curiosity for things that don't seem to make anybody else curious. Like, food, mental health. conspiratorial stuff. You know, I, I didn't need anything in society to like prove to me that I was right about this world. And I don't say that to brag, I just say that because it's a true statement. A lot of people need proof that the world is bad. When I was younger, I was still a little bit more innocent, you know? I could eat that Kraft macaroni and cheese with ease. But, now I know way too much about genetic modification and forever chemicals and, you know. And I'm sure that they're spiking a lot of the stuff that I eat. Because, you know, I, I don't really gloat about it. as much as I could, you know? I mean, look at this, this is a salad. So 
like I could be proud of myself for eating a salad instead of eating, you know, a cheeseburger or... I mean, it'd be different if the cheeseburger was from, like, a meat market or something. Like, like if it was from, like, a local butcher that I knew, like, treated their cows right. I could brag about that, you know? But, yeah, like... I hate how everything is, like, such a contest. You know, like, people... Can't wait to gloat about things. It's like y'all already know that I seemingly do that about my smartphone or my lack of a smartphone, rather. Um, my smartphone is a flip phone, you know? That's what it means to be smart is to go along with the general public on anything because the general public doesn't really take much time to like consider anything that could go wrong with their choices, you know? Like there are a lot of things that you can do with a smartphone that you can't do with a flip phone. Apparently that's why those things are easy to sell. But I think about all the things that people aren't doing because they're too busy on their phone. Like I understand that it's like a medium. Like it's it's a way that people communicate. It's a way that people pretend to communicate, right? I mean, of all the perks of a smartphone, I can think of, like, way more problems with it, you know? Like, for every perk, there are at least, like, ten problems attached to that, you know? So... When I hear people complain about a lot of these issues, in our society, it, it just makes me so angry <laughs> that they don't see that the reason why things are so bad is because everybody just went along with big tech. You know, it's like at my job, they have these kiosks now where everybody places their order on the kiosk. We used to have servers that would come to the table and take your order. And you have all these old people walking out because they don't want to do that. And all people are mad because they have to use the Q QR code to get a drink. But the main reason they did that had nothing to do with technology. It was because people were stealing drinks. Mainly the door dashers. I've always told you the door dashers are pieces of shit, okay? But now, like, you can't get a drink unless you put your QR code under the little scanner thing. But it's like, yeah, so many people complain about that. They're, like, really frustrated that they have to do that. But it's like, if you have a smartphone, fuck you, you know? Because this wouldn't have happened with QR codes if, if everybody didn't upgrade their phone. Now, I realize that not many people can see the bigger picture like I can, but I love to remind them. But I promise it's not a pride thing. It's more of like, I want you to realize that your actions have consequences, you know? And, hold on. To do this more efficiently. I don't think that people understand that their actions have consequences. I really don't. Because if they did, they probably wouldn't do half the shit they did. 